allow me to start with the recitation of the gayatri mantra mantra that is dedicated to ma gayatri gayatri as we know is the center of the vedic philosophy and vedic culture divine force behind the whole creation and the motherly power that guides us to the right path and she could be reached with this piece of vedic mantra so those of you who are able to sing the gayatri mantra i am sure that most of you can then please uh, sing it with me Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tat Savetur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonaha Prachodaya in the subtle presence of param pooja gurudev and param vandaniya mata ji i would like to start by greeting those seated on the dais is karyakram ke adhyaksh hum sab ke sammaniya aadarniya shraddhe kuladhipati ji hamare apne aur is karyakram ke sanyojak director professor c m agrawal ji is karyakram ke mukhya atithi vishishta atithi dr k d sharma ji dr yogendra dutt ji और हमारे अपने आदरणीय संदीप मावा जी इस कार्यक्रम में भाग लेने के लिए आए सभी प्रतिभागीगण इस विश्वविद्यालय के आचार्य आचार्यगण और प्यारे बच्चों फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम ऑल दोज पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑल दोज डिग्नेटरीज हु हैव ट्रेवल्ड फ्रॉम वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस यूनिक कल्चरल कॉन्ग्रीगेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू I have been told that there are participants from uh, Jammu and Kashmir there are participants from southern part of India Tamil Nadu Kerala there are participants from Malaysia Singapore so those of you who all came from various distances of the world uh, I would like you to know that this is more than an academic institution this is a parivar this is a family and I hope that you came here for an academic purpose but return home by feeling it like a family your own home your own parivar and i would like to touch briefly about the concept of this conference that we are going to organize here for next two days we are living at the cusp of historical changes in the tenure of humanity the world that we are living in at the moment we are seeing the history being written every second a new history is being created written right in front of us the world that we live in this world greed and exploitation have taken precedence over the human values the need for luxury is so strong that the concept like dharma nyay satya ahimsa right principles right values right morals they are comfortably rejected by today's society and as a result we have the money no doubt about it but no satisfaction prosperity no contentment we have made huge houses to live in but we have broken the families and not only the families we have systematically broken and highlighted the concept of individuality on one hand we are trying to mine the moon on other hand we cannot provide aim purpose and direction to a single individual this is such a sad gloomy and bleak situation of our society very unfortunate but true and when we look for a solution when we look for the right direction from this unfortunate and stuck situation the world that emerges to our consciousness the concept that comes to our mind is culture from prevalent perspective from english the word culture means something superficial something external culture of india culture of europe culture of africa something that could be denoted to geographical boundary however when we look at the concept from the hindi or sanskrit or indian perspective the word really is sanskriti and sanskriti has got something deeper meaning something more pristine something more pure something more valuable something more precious jo kriti sanskar sampann ho usko kehte hain sanskriti aur iske karan jo vyaktitva nikal kar ke aate hain use kehte hain susanskrit this process of parishkar this process of refinement is called sanskriti and with that broader definition it engulfs every single aspect of human personality from our external appearance to our lifestyle 
from our thoughts to our emotions from our dedication to live for right principles to our continuing commitment to live for them every single aspect of human personality and that is why vedic culture was universal sarvabhoum shashvat that is why vedic culture could so comfortably announce ayam nijah parovati ganana laghu chet sam udar charita nam tu vasudhaiv kutumbakam ayam nijah this is mine that is yours parovati ganana laghu chet sam they are considered among little people those who have got this thinking ye mera hai ye tumhara hai those people are considered little udar charita nam tu those who have got big hearts for them whole world is part of one family vasudhaiv kutumbakam and that vedic culture that divine culture that dev sanskriti is the foundation of this university and nothing nothing could have been a fitter place than dev sanskriti vishwavidyalay to have such a congregation dev sanskriti vishwavidyalay is dedicated to global cultural renaissance the only concept that keeps this university alive intact and prospering is the global cultural renaissance and when we talk about the indian culture vedic culture divine culture we have had a long tradition from adi shankaracharya to gautam buddha from kumarel bhatt to guru nanak from param pujya gurudev to swami vivekanand the people who have reached to other countries other nations other cultures without invading other country civilization through the thoughts through the darshan through the chintan through the dristikon and that is the idea of this university interestingly the word for university in hindi is vishwavidyalay word vishw means world vidyalay means academic institution the academic institution that belongs to whole world like no one can claim the authority on education no one can claim authority on culture also culture cannot be divided culture is for every single individual every single person on this planet it cannot belong to one particular race one particular country one particular religion there is a sutra that comes in ayurved sa prathama sanskritir vishwara this is also the motto statement of this university wah wah sanskriti jo vishu ki ek matra sabse pratham sanskriti thi and that culture that sanskriti belongs to all of us and that is what the idea of param pujya gurudev was when he established when he thought about establishing this university long before anyone would have imagined he talked about the principles to unite every single soul on this planet ek dharma ek rashtra ek jati ek chintan would they talked about it in 1943 and he gave not only he talked about it he gave the principles for it he gave the principles of ekta samata shuchita mamata the concepts that should actually make everyone united on this planet samvidhan of new yug nay yug ka samvidhan you can call it or you can call it the founding principles of the coming era and i think that is the reason why we are trying to uh, host this international conference in the premises of dev sanskriti vishwavidyalay it is more than an academic commitment to us this the reason why we are doing this conference here because the only soul of this university is the cultural renaissance and i hope when you are staying here when you are taking part in the academic discussions presenting your papers going through the scientific literature this message you would remember that more than an academic institution this place is alive because of the cultural values every single atom of this university is full of the message of param pujya gurudev and i would like you to return home with those principles in your heart in your mind in your consciousness when you return back to your own institutions you return back to your own families and with those words i will end मेनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू यू फॉर कमिंग हेयर और मेरे को इतने शांति से सुनने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद